Let's look now at how object snaps work within AutoCAD. We've seen them as we've worked through the exercises in this course. Let's see how they work and how we set our object snaps to work in AutoCAD. Our object snaps are part of our drafting settings on the status bar at the bottom of the screen. Now you'll notice in AutoCAD you have object snaps here. You also have 3D object snaps here. We're going to look at both. Right click on this one first, O snap, object snaps, and we're going to go to settings right here. Now, what this does is this sets our object snaps in the object snap tab there, our running object snaps. Now, these are the ones that are on all the time. So, whenever we're working with a draw command or a modify command in AutoCAD, these are the snaps that will appear. So, you can see there we have endpoint, midpoint, center, intersection and extension switched on. What we're going to do is we're going to switch off midpoint. So make sure that you've got endpoint, center, intersection and extension switched on. They're the ones that I would personally recommend that you have switched on all the time and midpoint as well. But I'm switching midpoint off for this exercise so we okay that now. Right, our object snaps are on. Let's have a look at our 3D object snaps. Again, it's a right click and settings. And you'll see there, same sort of dialog box, different type of snap. We have vertex, center of face, perpendicular, nearest to face. When you're working in 3D, I leave these two on, vertex and center of face. I'll OK that now. And all those running object snap settings are now set. Now, let's have a look at using those object snaps. I'm going to use my 2D object snaps only. So down to 3D object snap here, and I'll switch that one off for the moment. Now we're going to copy this 3D solid here using the center snap in the middle there. Now I'm going to go to the modify panel on the home tab. Copy is just here. So I select copy. It prompts me to select objects. I left click over the solid and I right click to confirm the object, hover there until the center snap appears, left click. Now I can copy that and I can copy it using that center snap and I'm going to go to the endpoint right there on that object there, left click. So that endpoint snap has now allowed me to copy that exactly. I'm going to come down here to this endpoint here and left click. Again my endpoint snap is working. Now. I want to go to the midpoint of this line. Now, because midpoint isn't on, I'm only getting endpoint snaps. Can you see that there? So I'll move away. Holding down the shift key on the keyboard, you'll see a funny little symbol appear on the screen there. And then I right click on my mouse. That will actually bring up now my override snap. So I can select a snap now that will override my running object snaps. And I'm going to select midpoint right there. And as I come across, that midpoint appears. It will only find now, can you see, midpoint snaps. Nothing else, because I'm using an override snap. There's my midpoint there, left click, and that places that exactly on that midpoint there. I press enter to finish. Now, that midpoint snap, that override snap is gone. It was a one-off snap. Watch, if I go back to copy again now, select the object, right click to confirm and get that center snap. Look, if I come over here, there's no midpoint snap anymore. So that override snap was a one off, like a disposable contact lens. You only use it the once. So I hit escape there, and that's our 2D object snaps being used. Let's have a look now at how those 3D snaps work. What we'll do. Go over to the view cube here, and we'll go to this corner just here. See that corner there? Click. That gives us an isometric view. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to position the crosshair over this object, the original object, and just roll up on the wheel a bit and zoom in. And you can see it's a 3D object when I hover over it. Now, let's say I want to move that object, but I want to move it, let's say, using the 3D center up here, rather than the center of the base down here. Let's have a look at that now. 3D object snaps on, like so. I go up to the move command here on the modify panel. Click on move. And if I select the object now, there's the object, right click to confirm. If I now hover here, can you see there, look, I'm getting a 3D center. As I come down, 
There's another centre there as I come down, centre, and so on. The 3D centre is the one on the top. So if I click on 3D Sense now, I'm moving that and copying that using the top 3D Center. So in a 3D environment, I'm actually moving that, as you can see, using a 3D Center. I'll hit Escape there just to cancel that command. So what about center of a face? How do I do that on a 3D solid? Well, I don't actually have a center of a face I can use. These are all curved surfaces, and there's no centers available. But if I had, let's say, a rectangular 3D solid, I could position an object on a center of a face of a rectangular object, for example. So that's your object snaps, both 2D and 3D, in AutoCAD 2011.